Good morning everybody and welcome back to Peak Wildlife Park. So it's Lucinda here and today is Tuesday so we are back to our training Tuesday. So I'm just in our penguin walkthrough at the moment um, because this week we are back to our alpaca training. So we're going to go and find our alpacas in a minute and we're joined by Liz, one of the keepers today. Um, but first we want to do a little recap. So last time we did our alpaca training it was the very start of the year it was our first ever training tuesday um, and we gave you guys the choice of what we were going to train our alpacas to be trained for um, so it was a choice between agility and teaching our alpacas to differentiate between colors um, so we gave you guys the option and what won was agility so we are going to be training our alpacas to do a little bit of agility so in a very similar way to you train a dog to do agility we're going to be doing it but with our alpacas so obviously there will be some differences um, but there will be a lot of similarities as well and the base basics around the training will be very similar to what you guys can use at home so we are joined by Liz and our alpacas She's just getting them out in the enclosure so we can do a bit of training with them. Um, but before I go over to Liz and ask her a few questions, I'm just going to say hello to a few people. So hi to Bebs. She's coming over to join us. No, have you changed your mind? <laughs> She's coming to see what's going on. Are you saying good morning? <laughs> So, good morning to Kerry, Tim, good morning to James and Jane, good morning to Fiona, Rob, Kim, Lee, Lee and Jamie, sorry, um, and happy birthday to Angie today. Hello to Emma, hi to Irene, hi to Kay, good morning to Kerry and baby Albert again. I know you guys are regulars, so thank you for joining us again. Um, so yeah, we're going to hand over to Liz. She's going to give us a little bit of a catch up of what our alpacas have been getting up to since our last training session. So they've changed their mind. <laughs> Whilst we go up there, I'll get Liz to do a bit of explaining as to what they've been getting up to since the last training session. Um, so we've been getting them used to target training. So I'm sure a lot of you have seen um, these targets and us targeting all the animals around the park. So yeah, we um, introduced the target and we wanted them to touch their nose to it and that's when we'd click and they'd get the reward. Um, now, they are at very different stages <laughs> in that training. So Chick, who's the brown coloured one, um, responded so well to training. So she really picks it up fast. So she's really consistently touching her nose and we've even got to the point of her starting to follow us. So that's what we're going to carry on doing today with Chick. Um, now Bebs, the white one, um, is not a fan. She is not interested in the target. She's just like, nope, I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, so she's slightly behind, but we'll see what we can do with it today. Um, obviously it's up to them what they do. So if she, Bebs isn't fancying it, then might just have to get Chick doing the agility. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll see what we can do today. We'll have a good go. Yeah, so they so, have walked after the Mara feeders. We'll go and try and find them and we'll start a little bit of a training session with these guys. Um, if you have any questions about the training as we're going, then please pop it in the comments below. Um, and me and Liz will try our best to answer those for you. Um, if it's anything about how you can use these techniques at home as well, then please just ask us. And like I say, we will try our, try our very best to help you guys. Um, but if you are watching this morning as well, give us a little wave, put a little wave emoji or just say good morning into the comments. So good morning to Haley who's joined us, yeah. Rebecca and Edmund, good morning to Maureen, Alison, Vicky, Fiona, thank you very much for joining us. So I'll just spin you round. So Liz is just reinforcing the training from the first session. So that's the clicker training, target training, sorry. Um, so you'll see her in a minute. She'll put the target up to Chick's face. Yeah. She touches it with her nose, she clicks, and then she gets the reward. Yes. So what is your next step, Liz, from this? So we're going to start walking Chick around the enclosure so just that she follows the target. So now I'm just keeping her stationary and she's just touching it while she stood still. Um, but next step is to get her moving around and following that target. So we're going to be doing that today. 
and see how good she is at that and then that will allow us to get her to follow the target over things like hurdles um oops, sorry i'm not even talking there we go um so yeah so, so in between, sorry Liz, in between this and obviously the end game of getting these guys to do some agility, how will you get from sort of getting them to follow the target to doing the agility steps? Obviously we'll do it in more detail, yeah. but. So what we'll do is we'll probably get like um, a small log or something and we'll get her to walk over it. Um, and then we'll just gradually kind of build it up, get her used to walking over something with the target, sorry. Um, yeah, so getting her used to walking over something and then eventually try and get them to do a little jump. I have seen them jump, so they <laughs> can do it, they can jump over things. And yeah, good girl. As you can see, Bebe is not that interested. <laughs> if I put the target in front of her, she's like, nope, don't want that. So what we'll do is we'll start having a bit of a walk around, we'll go around yeah. this way. So you can see now guys, she's starting to associate that target with getting a treat. Um, so now obviously she sees it in the distance and the idea is that she'll go up to it and touch it as she has just done now. Yeah, it's good that she's not associating me with the food, she's not coming up to me for it. She is going to the target. <laughs> so you can see she's done really well, she's picked it up really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry Beth. <laughs> So yeah, we are just continuing with Bev, try and get her used to the target. So it's good that she's watching what um, Chick's doing. Good so although Bev's not interested, like Liz just said, she is watching. She is very interested. So hopefully she will gain a bit of confidence from watching her and try it herself one day. But we don't want to push her. If she doesn't want to do it, that's also fine. <laughs> but if there was going to be one alpaca that didn't want to do it, it was definitely going to be Bebs. So in between our first session and this session, how have you been finding the alpaca training, Liz? It's been really fun. Like I said, we introduced the target to Chick and um, she seemed to pick it up so fast. So she knew that if she touched that, she was going to get that reward. And she's so eager to join in. Um, so yeah, she picked it up super, super fast. Um, and then obviously Babs didn't like the target. She's still a bit unsure about it. So what we've been doing is just getting her used to the click and the reward instead. So when we've been doing that, we have had two keepers here quite often. So one can concentrate on chips, one can concentrate on Babs. We don't like sharing to you. Are you off clicking and rewarding it and then I've got the target here so I've got it on me but I'm not gonna put it to her face because she's not too keen on that at the moment. So as you can see, obviously they're both the same animal, so they're both alpacas, but they are at very, very different stages of this training. And that is just down to their individual personalities. <laughs> So you might find at home, if you've got a dog or if you've got multiple dogs, they'll take the training at their own pace. So it's important to just, just let them do it at their own pace um, and don't, don't pressure them to do anything they don't want to. <laughs> As you can see, it is very frozen and very cold here today. So the bamboo is nice and frozen over. They're enjoying the frozen treat. So we've got Jane just asking how old they are. I think it's 18 months, is it? Or maybe two, I think about two, two years, years now. Yeah. Thank you. So we did get them at the park when they were about six months. So Jess is just asking what treat is it you're giving them? We've got um, alpaca mix, so it's a dry feed specifically designed for alpaca, and we've got some grass pellet in there, so I can show you. It's nice and juicy. <laughs> I know. Hi. And then I've also got some carrots and apples as well, which is a really tasty treat. Girl birds. Yeah. 
so you can see there with Liz as well because obviously Bebs doesn't want to she is a bit more nervous of the target so what Liz is doing is she's just getting used to that clicking sound and sort of having the target to the side so she can still see it um, and eventually we'll just bring it a bit closer and a bit closer until she's confident enough to do it on her own good girl So Rebecca's asking any more plans to get any more alpacas. Look. So we have currently got a male alpaca off show. Um, he is called Zach. Um, he is a black alpaca. We've got him by our... He's just off show, but you could see him, I think, a little bit. If you came just before we closed, um, you could see him slightly. If you were up by the rabbit walkthrough... He was in one of the, the fields up there. Um, so hopefully we might have little pat, pitter patter of baby alpacas. Hopefully all being well. Hi, you're more interested in me this morning. Hi. So let us know if you're watching guys, give us a little wave. If anyone wants a shout out for somebody that they know is watching or that you're going to send to it, send them to this to watch at a later date, then um, just pop their name in the comments and we will give those guys a shout out. So Visky is asking what their names are. Let, let's explain this. <laughs> we've got Albebe here. And then we've got Chikorito. He's just gone up to the mound. Just hiding behind the tree there. Nice camouflage she's got going. Where did they get their names from, Liz? Um, so I believe we did a poll uh, between staff, so we had two names, we had quite a few groups of names, and we all voted. Um, I'm not quite sure what the origin of Albert and Chikorito are. They football? I think they're footballers, yeah. yeah. Um, but it just seemed to suit them. I can't imagine them. <laughs> there. So, yeah, that was uh, voted as a favourite. Yeah, I don't think I don't think everybody was pleased, but now they've got those <laughs> yeah, names. <laughs> you can't imagine them without. So hi to Claire, Vicky, Jane, Dawn. Hi to Alex and Hazel. Hello to Rupert. Hi to Hugo and Alison. Hi to Daisy and Jack and Chloe. Hi to Bobby and Jane. Hello to Bethany and Dylan in Northern Ireland. Hi guys. Hi to Alison. Alison Potts from Claire, sorry. And hi to Tim from Australia. That's pretty cool. You have to let us know what time is it with you guys in Australia. I'm guessing somebody from Australia joined us the other day. So I'm guessing it is night time over there. So you're joining us for your tea. Nice little training session with your tea. So hi to Claire Britton and Tom as well. Hi to Joanne. <laughs> so we've got a couple of our Maras. One sitting over in the tree there. One in the nest box. How many Mara have we got in here all together, Liz? Oh, very cute. Oh, so they're quite shy animals, so you probably won't get that close to them, but they're very interesting animals to watch. Mm. There's something quite cute about them. Mm, they are very cute. <laughs> so, yeah, it's eight, 18 minutes past 8 pm in Australia at the moment, Liz. <laughs> So Vicky's asking how old they are. So I think these guys are about two years old. Um, we did get them at the park when they were around, I think, six and eight months. Um, so one of them was around six months, one of them around eight months. And now they are both coming up to two or just around two years old. So Kirsty is asking, what is the blue ball that you're using? So you can make targets out of a lot of things, so 
for the zebra, for example, we've got a target that's um, a square shape with black and white stripes on. Um, but yeah, it just gives them something that they know they need to touch and then it allows them to move this around and they will follow. But it's literally just a ball to fall on the end of the bit. Yeah, so you can make it out of anything, you can use anything at home, um, just pick that one thing and then we'd suggest probably keeping it the same throughout the training sessions, um, especially while it's the initial target training. Eventually once they understand targeting to an object, then you can possibly move on to a different one, but it is better to keep it the same so they do recognise that target. <laughs> So yeah, Kirsty, so um, it is a ball pit ball. So just from a child's ball pit. Um, and then it is screwed onto the top of a wooden stick. Can you anything bring it up that way? Do you mind bringing up the squirrel feeders, please? So the Mara coming over to see what's going on over here. Yeah, no worries. Have you got the girls up there as well for the <laughs> Rebecca says, this is great. She's drinking a cuppa under a blanket. Oh, <laughs> you guys must be freezing. <laughs> We're very, very jealous right now. But we are with the very cute yeah. alpacas, so it's okay. Sorry, we've got some little penguins just waddling up the ramp there. I don't know if you can see it in the distance, <laughs> but it looks very cute. <laughs> so what I might try and do is get a jerk around the bush. Yeah. So is she still interested? So Liz is just reinforcing that training each time. So the next few steps I'm guessing is, Liz, you can disagree with this, but possibly leaving it longer in between the target yeah. and giving the treat. Yeah, so at the moment, obviously we don't want her to lose interest, so we're reinforcing it quite often, but like Liz said, yeah, we'll start having her follow the target for longer. Sorry. <laughs> Um, before we click and reward. So you guys can do the same at home if you're training your pets to do anything. So just initially, when you're starting something new, just keep reinforcing it um, really often so your pets can pick up that they're gonna get a reward for it. And then eventually you can just start leaving a longer pause in between um, them getting a reward for doing the thing that you want them to. She did it! <laughs> so I don't know if you saw that, Bebs literally touched her nose on the target for I think the first time ever. <laughs> so there we go, she's following all around that bush and you can see she's really interested in the target. And there we go. So she got the whole way around the bush before she touched the target and she was still interested the whole way. Yeah. You're getting it now. <laughs> yeah, of course. Hey, Babs. There you go. Good girl. So as Liz was saying before, obviously we've got two alpacas. Um, so when we are doing the sessions, if we've got the time, um, two keepers will come up and do the training so that both the animals can get the same attention. Because um, it is quite hard to train two animals at the same time, especially when they're at different stages. Um, because Bebs is more nervous as well, it's hard for her to get, get the... If she has done it, it's hard for her to get the reward because Chick will push her way in. <laughs> But we do make sure that they do both get the rewards and they do both get the attention as well. So you can still she see she's very confidently following that target round. Good girl. Good girl. So we will just keep reinforcing this target training with these guys. And then, as Liz says, we'll go on to the next steps of, um, firstly, we'll just sort of like 
get her used to the agility setup that we're going to use. Um, we've not decided on that just yet, so we can't use it. Um, and these guys are obviously doing their target training. So in, hopefully in our next session, we will have um, a, an agility setup that these guys can start getting used to. So we'll just start walking them past it, getting them sort of n not scared of it because alpacas can be quite jumpy, especially when it's something new. <laughs> Good girl. So we'll sort of walk around it, get her used to it, get her not scared of it, it's nothing to be scared of. And then as Liz says, we'll get her to start walking over it. So it'll be really low to begin with. And then maybe we'll raise it slightly and eventually we'll get her to do some little agility jumps. And I'm sure you'll do a great job. Bebs may take a little bit longer, but that's okay. <laughs> So if you guys have got any more questions about our training session, then please just pop it in the comments and we will try our best to answer these for you. Like I said before, if you want a shout out, um, if you've just joined the session as well, let us know what you're up to. Give us a little wave. Um, yeah, we love hearing from you guys and it's we're really missing you all along with the animals as well. It's been very strange not having you all here. So give us a little wave and let us know what you're up to. Okay. They're absolutely covered in hay this morning as well. They must have been rolling around in their beds last night. And Bebe has got very mucky legs. <laughs> so this is really good because she's still showing a lot of interest in that target. So I'll move out the way. Did I distract you that time? I'm sorry, chick. <laughs> so Rebecca is asking, do we groom these guys? Yeah, so they actually really love being groomed. So we've got a brush um, by their bed that will every now and then we'll just give them a nice brush. But yeah, they absolutely love it. Um, but as you can see, they just get absolutely filthy. Um, especially obviously now it's winter, they've got quite a long um, coat so things do get stuck in it, they do get lucky. In summer we do shear them so they keep a lot cleaner and um, they've got a lot shorter wool but yeah they absolutely love being So we do use it as a reward sometimes for Chick because it's that kind of she enjoys it that much we don't necessarily have to use food. We can give her a brush and to hear that's a really good reward. So I'll make a point as well, Liz has just said obviously not all animals are food orientated. So if you're doing training at home, um, then you can use different things like even just letting them know vocally that they've done a good job um, or giving them a little scratch. Every animal is completely different or a toy as well. You can use a ball, throw them a toy, whatever their favourite toy is. It doesn't always have to be food because every animal is very different. <laughs> so we've got a few more people that have just joined us so hi to sandra and lauren and jord as well hi to michael and angela hi to becky thanks for joining us guys so we are nearly at the end of our training session and um, because we don't want to carry it on for too long and um, we want to end it on a positive note and we don't want our alpacas to get bored of the training or anything like that we want to keep it really positive and um, so as you can see she's still really interested which is great so we don't want to push it too far um, and we'll keep the sessions quite short but we'll do them quite frequently how often is it that you've been training the alpacas liz um probably about three four times a week so we only do like five minute sessions with them so yeah that's three four times a week so Finishing that last little treat. <laughs> so yeah, as Lou said, I think we will start finishing up the training. We want to end it on a good note. We want to end it when she's still really enjoying it. We don't want her to get bored because then she'll start associating it like negatively. So um, we want her to be wanting more. 
basically. So we'll do one last target and then we'll give them their jackpot reward. So I'll give them a good handful. So we'll give them a good handful as well, which has done really well. I think she's still finishing a treat from last time. <laughs> Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. So what Liz is doing now is she's letting Chick know that the session is over. So she's given her a nice big reward to say a massive well done for that training session. Yeah. And then she's going to go over and give Bebs some as well. Because Babs is less confident, so now Chick is distracted with her feed. Babs can get hers as well. So thank you so much for joining us this morning, everybody. And a massive thank you to Liz as well for letting, her in on, letting us in on her training session. So... Thank you to everyone who's joined us. We will be doing our next live on Friday at nine o'clock. So come and join us for that. We're going to be going to see our meerkats and maybe some other, some other animals around the park as well. So make sure you join us for that and let us know who you'd like to go and meet. And we'll take a little stroll around. Um, so thank you so, so much. And we shall see you very soon.